Welcome to TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. I showed how fast we can manually insert and make components in the first two parts of this series, but wouldn't it be nice if our parts snapped into position? What about inserting corresponding features and components like mounting holes and hardware? In the next few minutes, I'll show how to add these powerful capabilities to your frequently used components. Let's start with adding a mate reference. Here's a gripper that I'll reuse often. This simplified assembly needs a concentric and coincident mate for positioning. The edge between those faces is all I need to define the mate reference. I can now drag and drop into position in any assembly and the two mates get added automatically. In situations where frequent repositioning is needed, like facility layouts, magnetic mates are the answer. They allow you to quickly position and reposition parts or assemblies by snapping together connection points. I'll use the Asset Publisher to define connection points and a ground plane. In my assembly, I drag and snap into position. I drag again to unsnap and snap again for repositioning. Check out the toy chest SolidWorks included in the tutorials to try it out for yourself. Some components, like this motor, require common elements every time they're used. For example, cutouts, mounting holes, and hardware. Smart components allow you to add these elements with ease. They can include features, parts, or both. With my motor in position and the features and parts already designed, I'll set up the smart component by editing the part in context. I'll use the make smart component command and select the hole wizard holes and screws that I want to include. Now, I'll save the part and test it out. In my real assembly, I'll insert and position the part, I'll click the smart component, then select what I want to insert. Depending on what you're adding, you may need to select a few references, and that's it. All the features and hardware I need for my motor inserted with a single command. So if you find yourself reusing the same parts, spend a few minutes to make them more powerful. You'll be glad you did. If you missed the other parts of this series, or want to learn more about design reuse, be sure to check out our recent blog posts. Thanks for watching TPM's 3 Minute Thursday.